Well, hey everyone, we're here with another video where we are going to dig into the details of Purdue Pharmacy. And today we're going to be discussing research opportunities within the College of Pharmacy. Dr. Jamie Woodyard is here with us today. She is a clinical assistant professor in the college, but she's also our director of our professional program laboratory sequence. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you, and Mark. we're going to jump right in to kick things off. I'm going to ask you about research and what research is being done in the college. Well, Purdue University is a renowned cutting-edge research institution, so there are all sorts of different types of research being conducted, um, both at the university level and here within the College of Pharmacy. So, as one may imagine, given that we are a College of Pharmacy, we do have a lot of research uh, with respect to medications. So, lots of our faculty are studying or creating new compounds to treat or potentially even cure diseases, for example, um, and also looking at these compounds and seeing if they could make them better or potentially even use them for other uses um, in different disease states or conditions. And then also pharmacists are currently um, providing patient care in all sorts of different clinical settings. And so as a college, we're very interested in what our impact as pharmacists is on our patient care and our, our patient's health. So we are looking at different models to provide these services and different ways in which we can um, optimize patients' medication regimens as well. And then one other um, area of research that we're doing within the college that may not necessarily come to mind is educational research or research within our classrooms as we're teaching our students. So for example, at the college we've created some technologies that um, we use to help our students learn the pharmacy material, um, achieve those learning objectives, and demonstrate the skills that they need to become uh, great pharmacists. And so we want to study those tools and make sure that they're um, achieving what we set out for them to achieve as well. So that really is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, there's, again, so many different types of opportunities um, and types of research occurring here at, at the College of Pharmacy. Many of our incoming students are probably looking at various colleges of pharmacy and one of the things that sets Purdue Pharmacy apart is our commitment to research and incoming students may be thinking how can I as an incoming student get involved in research so how can a freshman get involved in research? So a freshman can get involved in just about any type of research um, which, which is pretty fascinating when you think about it. Um, just about all the research projects that are occurring here within the college actually do have freshmen or other levels of students involved in them. So another thing that I want to point out is that Purdue collaborates with individuals, health systems, entities, all sorts of different uh, researchers and um, institutions, not just within the state, but also across the nation and across the world. So the opportunities really are limitless for our incoming freshman students and uh, all of our students. It's really great that there's such a variety of opportunities for our students. And so if someone's looking at Purdue Pharmacy, how can they find out more about research opportunities in the college? So the first place I typically direct students is to the webpage www.pharmacy.purdue.edu slash research slash opportunities. And there students can read about a variety of the opportunities that are available to them as well as contact some of the faculty members who may be participating in some of these research projects. Um, another thing that I always encourage students who are interested in research to do is to really reflect on those areas in which they're most passionate and um, discover those areas and then reach out to the faculty members who are teaching those topics. So for example, if a student is really interested in cardiology or oncology, I encourage them to reach out to the professors that are teaching those subjects and simply just ask them what research opportunities do they have available um, or opportunities to collaborate as it's an excellent opportunity for our students. Um, and also I find that when students are most passionate about the research that they're participating in, it just really makes it a very rewarding experience for them. And also it's a great networking opportunity for them to connect with faculty members who are experts in those fields. That's really great advice. One of the things I would always tell students is just along those same lines is what material when you study is the most interesting to you, right? Exactly. Uh, that exactly. you find most interesting because that tends to be where your passion is and just reach out to those faculty members. Yeah, so and that often leads to future career paths that students may not realize at the time as well. Absolutely. Well, Jamie, thanks for joining Thank us you. today. If you have particular questions about uh, research or other things that you'd like to learn about with the College of Pharmacy, please reach out to us. You can find us on social media or you can contact us at pharmacy-oss at purdue.edu. That's pharmacy-oss at purdue.edu. Thanks for joining us and hail Purdue and boiler up. <laughs>